Welcome back to our mini series on the What If tool. I'm Sarah, a developer advocate on Cloud AI Platform. In the last video, James and I showed you how to initialize the What If tool, how to run it on various platforms, and gave an overview of each of the three tabs. Today, we'll be diving into the data point editor tab using the same model as the last video, which predicts whether or not a house is worth more than 160,000. Let's get started. When you initialize the What If tool, you're brought right into the Data Point Editor tab. This plots all of our test data along with the model's prediction for each data point. For the data points towards the top, our model has a pretty high confidence that the house is worth $160,000. For the data points towards the bottom, it has high confidence that the house is worth less than $160,000. Our model is less confident on the data points towards the middle. Let's see what happens when we click on an individual data point. Here we can see all the feature values for this data point. We can also change any of the values to see how this affects our model's prediction. Looks like doing this changed the model's prediction significantly, which you can see here. The next capability we'll look at is partial dependence plots. With the data point selected, we can see how different features contributed to the model's prediction for this data point, or for all the data points in our data set. These are calculated by having the model predict using the selected data point, while changing the value of only one feature at a time and plotting the results. The dot in this graph is the data point we've selected, and the line indicates the effect this feature has on our model. For example, it looks like the later a house was built, the more likely it is to be priced higher. Houses with unfinished garages are likely to be priced lower by our model, and houses with a fireplace are likely to be priced higher. There's even more you can do with the data point editor. If we go back and select a data point and click Show Nearest Counterfactual, we can see the data point that had features most similar to the initial one we've selected, but with the opposite prediction. In the editor panel on the left, the What If tool highlights the difference between these two data points in green and bold, so we can see what might have caused the opposite prediction. We can also make all sorts of custom visualizations of our data points, making use of any of the features of the data points or the model results. Here we've created a histogram showing the distribution of houses by square feet, with the points colored by the model's predictions. As you can see, on average, larger houses tend to be more often classified as over 160,000 by our model. We can also use the same data point similarity used for showing the nearest counterfactual as a measure for custom charts. Here we've selected a data point we're interested in and organized all data points along the x-axis by their similarity to this selected one. This way, we can easily explore how the model performs on the set of data points that are most similar to the one we're interested in. As you can see, there's a lot of tools you can use for inspecting your model just within the data point editor. In the next video, we'll be diving into the performance and fairness tab. For more info on what we've covered here, take a look at the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.